Okay, so let's add a little bit of bass to our uh, synths here. And before I do that, I'm going to crack open the uh, EQs for this one. I'm gonna roll off. In fact, I'm just gonna mute that one. And uh, we'll leave that one alone. So I'll click the old plus, we'll get a software instrument in there. Move that down, I'm gonna name this bass. It's all capital letters because you know it's going to be fat. So let's grab what would do some good bass. Uh, the monophonic one does some good bass. I'm not sure it's the bass we're looking for. It's um. It's a little too acidy sounding, isn't it? All right, let's start off with the saw for now, like this. Got that nice glide in it. Uh, we'll keep the resonance down so we don't sound like we're like we're 303, a little bit of overdrive to give it some beef. And I think we'll just play. Now we're in the key of G, and G's about as low as I want to go, because that's about 50-ish hertz. So I don't want to go too much lower um, than a low G, which is not even, it's off the scale. There it is. Okay, so I don't really want to go much lower than that. So let's play it, and we'll see what fits in. I think uh, we could probably start off. Man, maybe not, because we've got an A down there. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm playing up an octave just because it's easier to hear, and we can always pitch it down later. Now, do we want to have a big honk and side chain on the bass? Probably. So let's just, I'll just play something in. Just some notes. And so we start off in the A. So there was one bum note in there. Well, a few bum notes, but one entire bar that was bum. So first off, I'm gonna click this little guy here and I'm gonna go Command A to select everything. And these are my velocities. I'll just drag them all up so every note is the same volume. And then I'll drag them back down to an even 100 just to uh, make things nice and OCD. And then I will quantize currently just to sixteenths. Yeah, all right, let's try that.
good enough for now. We'll leave that as it is. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the old side chain here. So uh, what I like to do, so let's create a new channel, do a software instrument, and drag this up. I'm going to name this the aptly named side chain. And then I'm going to put in, I'll just put in a synth, another mono synth here. And T to get my pencil. And I'm going to draw in some very short notes. Bow. Okay, so I'm going to get this guy over. Open up the event list. And uh, I'm going to grab, what was this? Grab this one and put this on every downbeat. Okay, so now we've got real short notes. And I'm just going to press L to loop that. down just so we get that volume up so now I've got a super short spiky signal I'm gonna add a little bit of gain to that as well not that much gain And then, just to make it super tight, I'm going to add a gate. So I'll go to Dynamics, Noise Gate. All right, so now we have a super short spiky signal. And I'm going to route this not to the stereo out, but to a bus. And a bus 64, because that's how I like to do things. Now, bus 64 has just been created. And if I press X to get to my mixer, you can see that indeed I have this new auxiliary here that's been created with bus 64. So I'm going to rename this to SC bus because you don't get a whole lot of room down here and I can't put sidechain and I don't really want this to go anywhere I don't want to hear it so I sick no output in there so now what we have is we have a sidechain the short little blup 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 and it's going to bus 64 and bus 64 goes nowhere so you may be asking yourself Tim why did you bother sending it to a bus well, because in logic you can't do side chaining, side chain. Because in logic you can't do side chaining from instrument tracks. You can only do it from audio tracks or buses. So this gets around that by creating a bus, which doesn't really do anything except side chaining. I can go here, and I can put in a compressor. And now you'll notice, voila, bus 64 is available in my sidechain. Um, so what I will do is probably stick at Studio VCA, take off the auto release, crank the threshold down. Now, one thing you have to watch out for, I've just soloed the bass, and all of a sudden you notice that my sidechain isn't working, and that's because you also have to solo the sidechains to get the signal going. The 
different models have very different uh, release characteristics for doing sidechain. So you really just kind of want to flick through them and see which one is going to work for your type of track. If I do it in the mix, that's way overkill. This is new in Logic X as well, this meter here, which, uh, as you guessed, would pop up the sidechain. So this is our bass here, so I'm going to roll off a bit of that top because it gets a bit nasty. Now, my playing is a little off there, and I think we're probably going to want to go back and tighten everything up so the notes are the same. Um, but for now, we're just getting the... This is like when you're sculpting, right? You have your big chunk of granite, and you hack away the big bits, and as you get to the end of your project, you start chipping away finer and finer and finer bits. This is the big chunks that we're chipping off here. So we're not too, too worried about uh, how things are sounding right now. We're just getting things down, and we'll tune them up and tweak them later. So don't worry. Uh, one trick I might try is uh, the arpeggiator. If you uh, if you have notes that are different lengths and you just want to try them to see how they sound all as the same length, the arpeggiator is a great way to do that because right now every note that's played will automatically turn into an eighth note. And that does not sound good. Nor does that. So we'll just take it off. All right. So that's it for the starting of our bass line. And in the next, we've got to do something with these chords. They're driving me nuts. We're going to, uh, we're going to do some patch changing with that and uh, tweak it up and get them a bit tougher sounding. Okay. See you in the next video.